Picture this, a photographer comes into a store to order film and has to wait because the supply is low. We're talking about it happening now. This is a story in 2021. Film photography seems to be making a bit of a comeback. And we'll check it all out with Linda Cook. Film photography is such a popular hobby among young Quad Cityans, as well as longtime film buffs, that Camera Corner in Davenport has trouble keeping film on hand. Ted Doty, owner of Camera Corner, says many of his customers are young people discovering film for the first time. I think the younger generation likes to play with different things and wants to see and experience what was in the past. Nostalgia and the allure of something different also play a part. It's mechanical. It's, it's something that they can put their hands on and, and actually play with. And it's not uh, a digital aspect. You know, it's not the phone. It's not uh, a computer. It's, it's hard. It's metally. It's, it's, it's physical. With the technology new to them, some young photographers are looking into the past. They like to replicate and try to give the uh, illusion of, of days past, you know, back in the 1900s where you kind of had that uh, rough kind of look of photography. It wasn't crisp, it wasn't clean, it wasn't perfect, it was real. When they're not taking a view of the past, they're looking into what's new around them currently. The I-74 bridge is, has been an, an iconic one that we've seen. People are photographing it with film of the bridge to kind of, I think, show the new process coming through. The surprises are also delightful for customers who bring their projectors and cameras to Eric A. Pohl at United Camera Repair in Rock Island. People actually having time to sit down and go through grandma and grandpa's slides and uh, so forth. A lot of these projectors have failures because of age. They have nothing to do with how they're taken care of. The plastics they use to become brittle. So you turn it on and the gear cracks or, or belt snaps just from age. The oldest projector in the shop is hand cranked and is a little more than a century old. He rebuilt it when it arrived in pieces in a box. Regardless of their vintage, Pole fixes cameras and projectors that continue to link to both the past and a modern day trend in the Quad Cities.